What's up, world, and everybody in it? Top of the top to everybody. Get a get a toast in early in the morning. You dig? On the way to work. Smoothie does the body good. You dig? But it's another episode of Life Talks. Getting it in, man. Back to the trenches. I'm about to kick this week off. Hopefully everybody out there is staying productive, staying safe, staying active, keeping the mindset strong. Cause the brain is the most strongest muscle in your body. So you always want to be using that, and taking full advantage of your skills. You did. But like I said, this is another episode of Life Talks. Gonna be short and sweet. Make sure that you get in on this week's pop-up shop. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Lincoln Cafe, 740 East Long Street, Columbus, Ohio. 43215, you did. Like I said, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, come get you a great rice bowl. It's on deck. You did. But... Man, just thinking, man. World fucked up. They come get you a great rice bowl. It's on deck. You dig. But. Man, just thinking, man. World fucked up. But, um. You can always find some greatness out of it, man. And I just uh, think about my experience, experiences growing up and shit, man. It's like, I owe it all to this, man. I owe it all to this, man. I thank, I thank myself, man. I was always able to um, think for myself. Um, of course you have influences, uh, growing up as a kid in the uh, poverty-stricken neighborhoods and shit like that, um, you will have certain influences and certain uh, triggers of things that happen uh, that um, make you think a certain way. And um, I, I just pat myself on the back, man, that I've been able to keep my mindset strong and think for myself. Um, not letting the outside influences uh, cloud my mental, man, because it's a lot of th- it's a lot of that going on still to this day, and there was a lot of that going on growing up as a child in a poverty-stricken neighborhood. It's a lot of that going on, man. I just thank myself, man, that I wasn't caught up in that shit, man. Like, I was caught up in the shit, but not caught up in the shit because, man, if you think about it right now, at at this current day, it's niggas just now getting out of jail for some shit that they did when they was a teenager that they got influenced by the influences out in the streets. And it cost them, shit, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, sometimes... 20 years of their life because they this was weak at the time so they got easily influenced and within the influences of the environments that they was living in and I just like I said I pat myself on the back because I was always able to think for myself man all the all the influences and all the shit that was going on around me growing up I always I always was able to weed out what was what was the lesson and what was the loss. So I was able to maneuver a certain way to make sure that I always stayed on top of my shit. And I, like I said, I pat myself on the back for that because it's a lot of people that fell victim in that in, in that certain point of time when their mindset was weak and it, and it cost them a lot definitely cost them a lot and i salute everybody that's just getting out of prison man 
Salutes to y'all, man. Uh, blessings in abundance with all your uh, endeavors that's coming. Because you... It's things that's going to come to you and you got to be prepared for it and ready. So, like I said, salute to y'all, man. Good luck with everything, man. It's, as Like I said, as I think about it, it's like, damn. A lot of us fell victim to that shit, man. We can't keep allowing it to happen, man. We got to, as, as, um, as, as thinkers, we got to think, man. We we got to use this. This is the strongest muscle in your body. So you got to use that motherfucker, man. And you can't let nobody sway your decisions or influence you in doing some shit that you know you don't want to do. That's a sign of a weak mind. We can't have weak minds out here. We got to think full capacity. We got to use this motherfucker, you dig? So that's what I'm saying, man. It's a lot of us that fell victim to that shit. All the outside influences, um, the, your environments, that, that's a, definitely an influence. So, man, just crazy, man. I was just thinking about it all this morning, like, man, I understand when motherfuckers say I'm a, I'm a champion. Like, man, it's obstacles out this motherfucker for real. And it's... it's a lot of a lot of us can't can't handle we can't handle the obstacles. So we fall by the wayside. We make certain decisions that ain't good for us, that we know ain't good for us, and we get fucked over in the end. We get fucked over in the end, man. I hate to see it, man. I hate to see it. But we gotta we gotta start using this motherfucker the full capacity, man. That's why I say on every video, the mindset. It's all here. Really good at that in this country is like the concept of like ownership. But no one should own you. No one should own your actions. No one should own your creations. Once you get that in, in line, everything else will fall in place. Everything else will fall in place for you. You just got to get this in, in, in shape. And this, getting this in shape, it takes hard work. It takes hard work, most definitely. It's not an easy task. It's not an easy task. But yeah, man, that's all I wanted to touch on this episode, man. Like I said, do not forget to get in on this week's pop-up shop at the Lincoln Cafe, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 6 to 10. Or you can also order on Grubhub and DoorDash, 740 East Long Street, Columbus, Ohio, 43215. Yeah. Hopefully everybody have a productive and safe week. Be safe out there. Be aware of your surroundings. Keep this sharp. Use this to full capacity, man. Stay productive. Stay active. And I'll see y'all on the next episode. Adios, amigos.